Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created update employee API in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will call this update employee API from our React application. So let's get started. So in our React application, we need to open update user.js. And here we will create a new method to call our API and we will write const and we will name this method as handle submit and this will be an asynchronous method and in the params we will accept e and after this we will write an arrow function and in the body of this method first of all we need to prevent the default behavior of the event so it should not reload our page and we can do this by calling e dot prevent default behavior and after this we will write try catch block and in the try block we will create a constant and we will name this as response and after this we will mention await keyword and we will use fetch to call the api and in this we need to pass the url so we can copy the url from here and we will paste it here and the url for the update api is basically the same as the fetch employee api which is localhost 8080 slash api slash employee and after this we are passing the employee id which we are getting from the params and after this we need to mention the other details which includes the method and we need to use the method as patch and after the method we need to set the headers and in the headers we will set content type application slash json and after the headers we need to send the body and before sending the employee we need to stringify it so we will use json dot stringify method and here we will pass our form data which have the details of the employee and with this our api call is completed now we need to get the data from the response so we will create a constant and we will name this as data and here we will use await keyword and we will use our response and we will call json method and after this let's use console dot log and in this let's show the message updated user and after this we will send the data and after getting the data we need to redirect the user to our dashboard page and to do that we need use navigate so let's go to the top and here let's create the object and we will mention const and we will name this as navigate and after this we need to mention use navigate from the react router dom now let's go back to our try block and at the end of the try block we will use the same navigate and for the url we need to pass slash because the url of our dashboard is slash and after this we will go to the catch block and here we will use console dot error and we will show the message as error updating user and after this we need to send the error which we can get by calling error dot message and with this our handle submit method is completed now we need to write the code to call this method on the submit event of the form so let's go to the html section and in the form tag we need to use on submit event and here we need to mention handle submit and with this the code for the update user component is completed now we will save this file now we will run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the update user functionality and on the dashboard of our application we can see the employees table and let's say we want to update the name of the employee for so we will click on this update button and here in the name input we will set it to employee 4 now let's click on this edit employee button and as you can see we got redirected to our dashboard and we can see the updated name which is employee 4 now and now let's click on the update button of our employee 3 and here in the input of the name let's write update and let's click on this edit employee button and as you can see we got redirected to the dashboard and the name of employee 3 got updated to employee 3 update and that's it for this video if you have any questions you can comment them down below